Hey, I am here with my good friend Scott uh, from Arcane Comics, uh, who is always good good to, uh, enough to let us actually sit in his shop and tape here and everything else. Um, you haven't been on camera in a while, Scott. Uh, it's been a little bit. You've been off camera yelling at me, calling me a redheaded troll. That's, you... that's where I perform, you know, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> when you can hide. Exactly. <laughs> well, but we have you here for a very special reason, because... Um, Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Scott and I got married three years ago. <laughs> three? <laughs> no, it's actually uh, the sixth anniversary of uh, this, the West Seattle store, or what, pff, the Ballard store's opening. Yes, yes it is. Um, and so that's a, that's a huge deal. Uh, again, a, a small business being around for six years. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's been, a, uh, it's been nothing but a uh, challenge. You know, it's... Uh, is it you know, a, operating, I mean, operating a small business is not a, is not an easy venture. You've got uh, you know it's it's not a steady paycheck. You you don't have anything to fall back on. It's it's uh, pretty much what you're doing is uh, what's going to uh, influence uh, how your business performs. And you know that's there's been plenty of mistakes. What um, but. It seems like things are going better right now. I mean, you're, you're expanding. You, you 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 went out to West Seattle, and now you're expanding this store. <coughs> yes, yes. Um, um, you know, that's got to be some sort of optimism there. Um, yeah, no, there's there's. I mean, there, there, there's always optimism with every new Wednesday. There's there's more optimism, <laughs> you know. But uh, if you don't, if you're not aggressive in trying to grow and change your business, then you just become stagnant. Yeah. You know, you become stale, and there's. There's definitely choices that we have made. Uh, you know, the, the West Seattle expansion was uh, was good for us at the time due to the fact that there was nothing, you know, in that area. Um, st still, there's uh, you know choices to uh, that, that could have been made a little bit differently. The expansion here um, is one of those situations where the opportunity has presented itself. If we don't take it, then we don't grow. Yeah. So we really, you know, need to. Uh, need to take that uh, that chance so um six years ago you when you opened the, opened this store can you think back um and think about what kind of rose-colored glasses you had on before no before opening day and that that now you're like or or did you do you did you have rose-colored glasses on at that time and 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 have you know what what have you learned since then uh you know, the I, I didn't really have rose cutter glasses on. I mean, I, I knew I was starting a small business, a uh, small a comic shop, yeah. uh, in a digital medium, uh, di digital age rather. I'm I'm opening a business based on print media. <laughs> uh, you know, it was uh, it it was a passion. You know, I mean, I've I've always I've always loved comic books, and and I uh, was at a point in my life where I had to start looking at something that resembled a career. You know, an actual path to betterment rather than uh you know job here job there which is pretty much what i did prior to opening this business was just you know bounced around between odd jobs well what um from the time you decided to open a comic book shop to the time that the shop opened how long was it uh it was about a year really it was about a year uh if i remember correctly i started writing the business plan in the summer of uh 2003 mm -hmm. Um, we actually formed the uh, initial LLC in November of 2003, and then we opened on May 15th of 2004. Wow, that's actually pretty fast. For so it took a year. You know, I wrote a 48-page uh, business plan, which was completely invalid within two weeks of opening. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, is it, it, I mean, maybe that's what I was talking about. How you know, once in practice. Once you're in practice, you see how things are a lot different. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, in 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 that aspect, we did have uh, I, I did have some 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 rose colored glasses. You know, I I uh, assumed that the majority of stuff that we would be ordering, we would be selling, and and I've learned over time that the trick is to only order the stuff that is selling, not to assume that you're going to sell the things that you're ordering. Yeah. Um, did you did you go to other other shops and kind of? Sneakily watch around, not not sneakily, but you know what I mean. Like just. Well, we went to we went to every shop within uh, thirty miles. Yeah. Um, you know, when we saw what they were doing, and the you know one of the reasons why I thought that you know opening a comic shop in Ballard would be a good idea is that I, you know, couldn't find the child the the, the comic shop of my childhood. You know, anywhere yeah. I went, I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find a place that I enjoyed going, that I was comfortable going, that the people were nice, uh, that the selection was was what I wanted it to be, and. And so 
I just decided that that was probably the calling that I needed to do. You know, I need to open my own business and open my own comic shop so that I have the comic shop that I want. Yeah. Wait, um, when you when you opened that first day, uh, was was there was there a decent amount of attention that, that right away? Did you you know? I know you had the sign out there. Um, I I, want, I think I wandered in uh, during the first week. Um, sadly, I was going to another shop, so I didn't start going here right away. But we had um, uh, the, the, we had we had attention on the first day, um, yeah. due due in large part to uh, to other businesses in Ballard that uh, that I was uh, familiar with, that I was a client of. Uh, posting that uh, you know, posting business cards for us and and, and signage saying that we were opening. Uh, we actually had, uh, you know, we had our first customer five minutes after opening. Nice. Uh, he pinched his finger in the doorknob. Uh, fingernail bled a little bit, and, uh, and we got a new doorknob the next day. <laughs> that is a great start. So yeah, <laughs> that's an yeah. auspicious start to the. It was. <laughs> it was. Um, well, also I want to. You know, and one of the other reasons you're on here is that before the sixth anniversary, you've got some pretty awesome stuff going on. Uh, yeah, we do. We got uh, on uh, on Saturday, May fifteenth. We've got uh, G. Willow Wilson, uh, who's the writer of Air and Cairo, is uh, going to be in uh, in both stores. She'll be in uh, West Seattle, I believe, uh, early in the day, noon to two. Or no, it's here noon to two, and then in West Seattle in the afternoon. Mm. All the information will be posted on our website. We've got uh, Shane White, who is a local artist. He's done a lot of. Uh, a lot of various comics for various publishers. He's a he's a really great artist. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got uh, some uh, a man by the name of Mr. Toland who does a web series called Sticks and Bones. It's going to be here on Saturday. Oh, sweet! Um, You're going to have a ton of people. We're going to have those three guests on Saturday. They're going to be in West Seattle, I believe. Again, I'm not. I don't. I don't have the times uh, committed to my memory at the moment. But I believe they're going to be in West Seattle later in the afternoon and in, in Ballard earlier in the afternoon. Yeah. And then we've got. Uh, We've got uh, the Little Black Bottles, which is a, a local band that uh, that is part of, you know, the community that we've got here in Ballard. And mm -hmm. They're going to be performing here from six to eight, I believe, on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we've got uh, Greg Rucka, uh, who needs no introduction, and, no. and Matt Southworth, who is, uh, you know, he's the artist on Stumptown, which Greg Rucka's writing, mm -hmm. as well as uh, I believe he did something called Infinity Inc. Or not? Infin yeah, he did Infinity did Inc. He, do Infinity he Inc. actually did an, uh, did an issue of Savage Dragon that he's kind of doesn't want us to see. Yeah. We talked to, we talked to Southworth a little bit. He's like, no, let's, 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 not, let's not see that. But and on Sunday, we've also got uh, Mark Rayner. Is, uh, oh, from Rotten. From, the writer from Rotten. Yeah. He uh, was, will also be uh, in both stores as well. So they'll be, they'll be doing signings and everything else like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be signing <clears> books <throat> and talking to anybody that wants to, you know, walk up and talk to them. And then, and then uh, you also have a sale going on, too? For, uh, we do. We for do. The... You'll, have to, uh, you'll have to find us on our, uh, on our website, arcanecomics.net, A-R-C-A-N-E-C-O-M-I-C-S dot net. The dot net is the important part. <laughs> uh, and we'll post uh, what we're going to be doing there. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Cool, cool. Well, um, congratulations. I think it's a huge deal. Yeah, no, and, I and, and I wouldn't have Scott as a friend if I hadn't had the comic. Oh, shit. the comic shop, so aw.